Uh, this is my second spotlight feature on uh, Jiminy Cricket. And uh, I'm doing it for Denise of Denise's Orchid Paradise, who loves this plant, and why not? Uh, look at these gorgeous flowers. Uh, these are a cross between uh, Brassavola nodosa and the uh, Ringpulalia digbiana. Uh, they are scented uh, at night, um, like the nodosa parent. Uh, and uh, on this single spike, there is a bud that is progressing now, um, long before the other flower uh, has opened. So um, that's kind of unusual. Uh, the third pseudobulb in, in bud here uh, will be opened uh, shortly. Uh, I think I've noticed one of them cracking open. So um, if there's one fault with this plant is that the flowers only last two and a half weeks. But um, somewhere in this maze of pseudobulbs, um, there is another um, set of three pseudobulbs um, waiting to, the, to uh, mature and to flower. So I'm fairly certain to have some flowers again at the end of September uh, or early October. Uh, anyways, this is an old plant. I've had it for like maybe six or seven years. And it's probably bloomed almost every single year that I've had it. And now it, it grows uh, pseudobulbs almost year round. Uh, but its uh, most floriferous time is mostly between May and uh, December. So I hope you've enjoyed um, a look at Jiminy Cricket. Um, it's a great plant to have. Thank you for watching and have a good day.